what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel once again um so this is what we're doing right now i just wanted to make a quick little vlog uh since i haven't made a video in a bit so i just wanted to make a quick little vlog um little project um so this is just a blown up lt 5.3 um as you can tell no you can't tell on this side you can tell oh there you go yeah, that ain't supposed to be there, so. Uh, so we're gonna remove heads. Uh, save those heads for a nice old block I'll probably get. And use the block and use this particular block to make a little project, a little table or something. So um, I thought I would, you know, record this just to, you know, have some, some different kind of content. So I'm pretty sure y'all like that. And yeah, I mean, we're trying to get it off. I do not have a cherry picker. Literally, no one has a cherry picker. Um, been searching around and nothing. I only have this thing, bought it from AutoZone. <clears throat> so, you might be asking, how'd you get this loaded up on the truck then? Well, we used one of the cherry pickers from, from work. So, yeah, um, this is where we're at right now. Um, I was gonna make, uh, not a separate video. I'll probably make another video today on what's going to be. This is probably the same video on the ins installation on the hub, the hub, the USB hub. So I got all the parts in already, so I can teach you real quick um, how to swap out the single. Let me see <clears throat> the single because you know I don't know if y'all noticed we have that center console now. So I used to have this one. I don't know where I left it, but I used to have that one. And we are going with the dual hub. Um, where's it at? Where's it at? It should be over here. The dual hub USB port. This is the old one that actually came with the center console. I did not like it because it was all nasty and dirty and it was missing the top piece so i just ordered another one that was pretty much brand new so this is the one we're going to switch to and i do not know if this one's for carplay uh, apple carplay and android auto and i don't even know what they what people use nowadays but i don't really use it all right guys so quick little update on the engine the table project whatever um that's where we're at can't really take off that head because I do not have the 13 mil um, special socket. Well, not special socket, just the hex um, to take off that last bolt on these LT engines. I don't know if the LS is like that, but um, yeah, as y'all can see, this is the whole carnage. So, yeah, it really. It literally just completely let's see, obliterated that fucking rod. Yeah. All right, guys. So just want to give you a little quick update. Take off all this shit, and yeah. All right, guys. So I mean, I just went ahead and just stopped. For right now, since I could not get that last um, bolt, I have to get it from work or something. But <clears throat> these are the pretty sure these are what you need to convert the USB hub to a dual. Yeah, to a dual port. To a dual port like this. So uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure this. One, oh shit. Pretty sure this I'm trying to do with one hand goes in here, and this will connect to your. Um, pretty sure it's the yeah, it's a USB port that you have for the single one, and then this is gonna go to your um, cigarette lighter, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm gonna show you real quick. All right, guys, so we're going to start by first taking the little mat off. Should be some eights, I believe. Should be some eights. 
and I'll be updating y'all every single step so yeah all right guys so we got um <clears throat> the dash already off they're actually sevens so my mistake they're actually sevens um this wide view i popped this off a little bit you can't really pop it off all the way just because we have a center console now so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to sort of route it through you know try to fish it but as you can see let me get my lights in there so that we're gonna get to that um outlet right there so disconnect the outlet already disconnected it let me see if i can there you go so this outlet goes right here from stock take it out you're gonna get your aftermarket harness i got from ebay so i'll put this in the description um we're gonna connect it here, and then this is gonna come back, connect back on to the outlet, right? So this is gonna give it power to the dual USB port. This is gonna give it power, so this can light up and do all these nice little functions. But yeah, we're gonna try to route it through. If it doesn't work out, I'll let y'all know. If it does, hell yeah, so. Yeah, this is where we're at, and I'll get back with y'all in a bit. All right, guys, so this is where we're at um so i did take almost everything off i didn't take this completely off just because the there's a clip right there i just set it aside so not too bad uh so you you want to take that cover off that just pops off uh, and set this loose as well this this comes off as well it just pops off clips um so there's gonna be four screws Okay, so there's gonna be four screws to hold, uh, holding this on. Four screws right there. Um, the first two that are like right here and over there on the sides, um, those are pretty a bitch to get to. Um, so you're gonna have to use a little ratchet. But I mean, that's pretty much all you have to do because. I connected it right here. I connected that um, aftermarket harness. I'm trying to get the headlights on. Um, and fished it through. Is this it? This is not it. This is the one that came with the center console, but it's torn. Like everything's just, they cut it off. That's why I'm not taking this off because it's torn anyway. So I'm not going to mess with that. So fish it through there. Try to find it. I found it and it's right here so this is gonna go inside of this oh, fuck. I don't know if y'all can sort of see what I'm talking about let me pause the video all right so so this that cable is gonna go through here obviously and it's gonna connect to your um, USB hub. So now we just need to find the cable for the USB we're gonna use that came with the truck, which is this. So this is the end of the single one I had. So we just wanna we, we wanna connect our USB to that. And that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how how it's all gonna look connected, but that's that's I mean it's pretty simple. Just a bunch of stuff you have to take off again. So yeah, we're selling that. All right guys, so in theory, this is how it would look. I'm trying to position the light, there you go. So, oh, fuck. Shit does not do justice. All right guys, so there you go. Looks much better now. I gotta take off that screen protector for my camera. Um, so in theory, this is how it's gonna look. As you can see, let me see. As you can see, they do turn on. They do turn on, so we're good with that. Um, we just need to connect everything back together. We need to put everything back now. So just a little recap. Aftermarket harness connects to your 
outlet for your cigarette lighter. And, oh shit, I forgot to connect it. Here it is. You're gonna get your aftermarket one, which, you get what I'm trying to do. So it's gonna connect there, from there, give it power, come down here, connect it to your dual port, um, and then get your USB, which is right here. This is from my truck factory. Uh, you're gonna get your USB connected to there, and then to your to your dual port, and there you go. So I'm just gonna pretty much tuck everything in. This I will probably tape up just to be safe, so it won't separate. Just because you know it's, this is not stock, so just to be safe, I'll probably tape it up. Maybe heat shrink it if I can find a heat shrink too that's big enough. But yeah, so this is where we're at, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together, guys, so you can see the final result, and we can test if Apple CarPlay works. And if it doesn't, we'll just get a different dual port. Um, we'll get a different one of these that actually has that function and i think it should work not too sure on that guys but you know just a little heads up so hopefully it works pretty good though all right guys so quick update my bad so we are not going to use that one and you can use it i totally forgot that we have one down here because this one is just getting in the way doesn't reach as good so the same process guys it's literally the same as process all right guys so my bad on that um we now routed it routed it through that little square um hole i guess you could say so on this um this one actually came with this harness came with that so i just tore it off i i just um I cut it off right where it usually routes. I cut it so we could, in the future, tap into the USB port and have light through here. So, I mean, that'd be pretty nice. So there's a light right there and I already tested it and it does work. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's maybe a future plan. If not, I'll do it right now. Just depends if I find any good um good little tap um connectors so yeah that's where we're at right now i'm gonna put everything back together guys sorry about that little little hiccup but we are good now so just remember to lift this up when you're putting back the the um this little cubby so just so you have enough room all right guys so this is the end result got her back together let me turn off the flash okay so i have not put it the the whole clip in the usb hub i have not put put in the whole hub in yet like the locking the tabs just because I really want to do that um, so that so it lights up in here so I'll probably do that another day or maybe later we'll see what's up but let me just show y'all demonstration so there you are <clears throat> turns on now to check to see if it works um let me go get a cable let me go get my brother as well check if it works and yeah i'll, I'll get back with you on a bit so all right all right guys well i have a short ass cable but as you can see it is working real nice i really never knew it worked this good <laughs> this is really this is really nice so i disconnect it goes back to sync and there you go so that's pretty cool gives me all the menu and now we're gonna test my brothers 
hopefully it works. I don't know. <clears throat> Look at that shit. What's up? It's different. Dang, bro. Is that hard? I'm not even up to date with all this bullshit. So that's pretty cool. Let me disconnect my. I haven't, I haven't clipped it in yet. Oh. Because I wanted to see if it worked. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see if yours works. Um. No, I don't think yours is going to work, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Some sensors will be put to connected. Continue. Apple CarPlay, agree. Skip this step. Hello? Yeah. Oh. Damn it, boy. Damn, that's sick as fuck. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that scare has all my apps or what? Oh, let me see. Ghostbusters? Damn, you got Spotify, though. Damn it, boy. Shit. <laughs> Shit, that's cool. Dude, that's crazy. That's nice. Damn, I have all the playlists. Dude, that's, that's crazy. So sick, huh? Oh, damn. Damn, dude. That's crazy. And everything, huh? Yeah. Alright, before we get copyrighted. <laughs> Damn, that's cool, dude. Yeah, Hell yeah. Sure. What else you got? <laughs> oh, it switches it back to... Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I can't really... Google Maps? Oh, it's because y'all's maps are different, huh? Oh, Damn. Damn, that's cool. That's yeah, fucking tight. Cool. Alrighty, Ronnie. Alrighty. Thank you. Yes, oh, so Alright, guys. So, as you've seen, it's all working good, functioning good. So, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm actually really stoked. Um, I'm really not ever going to use it, but, I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, happy that it's going to work with any other phone. Just in case, you know, some, just in case in the future, maybe this truck is going to have a different owner. But, yeah, it's pretty tight, guys. I'm super, super happy with it. Um, if you have any questions, just um, comment. I'll try to answer y'all back as quick as I can. I haven't been lately just because um, I had a, I've had a lot of, you know, personal stuff happen. So, a little weird, though, but, pro bailante, you know. That's all that's all that matters guys. So yeah, I'm gonna put everything in the description guys. So um that harness, the harness, the USB. It really doesn't matter what USB you use, it's just the normal um yeah, I don't remember what <laughs> what the name was. But I'll put everything in, in the description. Um harness is from eBay, put it down, um the USB also from eBay. And that's pretty much all you need for your just pretty much completing your center con your center console i'll probably make a separate video on um putting that tapping into that um those wires right there so this can light up oh excuse me so this thing can light up over here but yeah guys that's that's pretty much it for today's video y'all like y'all comment and if y'all are new to the channel y'all subscribe really appreciate the support guys um Hopefully y'all like this kind of content and um, this little type vlog-ish, you know, a little how-to. Hopefully y'all liked it, but I mean, yeah, that's it guys. So thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it.